Hi, my name is Nick Pachowski. I'm with the American Heart Association, and today I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through our Cycle Nation digital experience, including step by step on how to register and use the mobile app. Our Cycle Nation digital experience this year is the biggest Cycle Nation we've ever put together. Running from October 1st to October 29th, this digital experience will challenge you to get out there, log your miles, and help propel your team up the leaderboard for the most miles gained. You have the option to define your ride. However it is that you move, walk, spin, bike, run, whatever, those miles can be counted towards your team's progress. You'll be competing against teams not only here in Denver, but across the entire country to see who it is that can log the most miles during the event. Um, along the way, you'll hear from us receiving weekly updates on the leaderboard, as well as some great content, including on-demand spin classes from our partners at Rush Cycle. You'll also have a chance to hear from some of our heroes, the inspiring heart and stroke survivors who will be sharing their stories about how the American Heart Association has impacted their lives and thanking you for your support. Additionally, of course, you'll have the chance to help fundraise for the American Heart Association in our life-saving mission to end heart disease and stroke, as well as to continue our mission-critical work around funding additional research to understand COVID-19 and its implications on the body's cardiovascular system. We'll be wrapping everything up on October 29th with a, with a virtual celebration as we recognize our top teams. So three things that we're asking you to do. Number one, register. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. Number two, fundraise. We have a ton of tools to make it super easy to do. And number three, get social. However it is that you're out there moving, we want to see those photos, post them to Cycle Nation or to social media using the hashtag Cycle Nation. All right, now I'm going to walk through the website and show you exactly how it is to sign up. So you're going to visit cyclenation.org slash Denver. From here, you can see our top fundraising teams, as well as the teams currently on the top of our distance challenge leaderboard. By clicking the big red register button up here, you can go ahead and start the registration process. Um, you can either choose to start a team if you're creating a brand new team or join a team if the team has already been created. We'll go ahead and walk you through the join a team prompt uh, as that's the most common participation choice and they're very similar um, as well. So click this join a team. If you've participated in the past, you'll click yes. Don't worry, there is a forgot password and username prompt if you need to pull that up. Otherwise, click no. From here, you'll use our search function to find your team. The easiest way to do that is just by searching for your team's company in this search bar and then click the search button. This will pull up a list of all the currently registered teams um, for that company and then you can click join next to the team that you'd like to join. From here, you can choose a personal goal for fundraising as well as if you'd like to make a donation um, to the American Heart Association. Otherwise, just click no thanks right now and then next step. From here, fill out some basic information about yourself, choose a username and password, and then make sure you click that you've read the waiver. And then once you click next step, it will complete the registration process for you. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what it looks like after you've registered and some of the tools that you'll have at your disposal to help you raise money. Once you register, you'll be brought to our participant center. And from here, we have some great fundraising tools. The easiest thing to do is to go ahead and connect to a Facebook fundraiser, which is posted on your Facebook page. Super easy to do, and it allows your friends and family to donate directly through Facebook without ever having to leave the, um, the Facebook page, to create an account, or anything like that. All of it happens right here in the Facebook interface. Super easy to do. You can customize the photos, the text, all of that. Um, a great tool uh, at your disposal. Additionally, if you click this social tab here, you'll have some different messages, pre-written donation messages that you can choose to send um, through social media, email, whatever it is. So you can see a selection of templates here and then the different platforms that you can choose to post those on, including Facebook, email, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So there you have it, the Cycle Nation website. And now I'll walk you through the distance tracking part of the challenge. So you'll download the Cycle Nation mobile app on your Android or Apple device, and you'll be able to connect it to either Apple Health, Google Fit, or Strava if you are using those apps to track movement. Um, once you open the app for the first time, log in with the credentials that you use to create your account. And then from there, You'll connect to any of those um, existing apps that you'd like to. Go ahead and turn all those permissions on. And once you do that, you'll have this interface where if you have 
um, activities, um, if you're using a wearable like a, an Apple Watch and you're biking, those miles will automatically pull into the app. You can also manually enter activities and then manually track activities through the app as well. So there you have it. A quick walkthrough of our Cycle Nation digital experience. If you are watching this and it is after October 1st, the challenge has already started, but that's okay. You can actually go back in and log any miles that you might have gained from October 1st to the point whenever it is that you register uh, to go ahead and make sure that you haven't missed a single step or opportunity to log miles. If you have any questions, my contact information is right here. Please feel free to reach out and I'm more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.